Onivia, League of Legends highlights. 12.5B from four days ago. Because Let's look. LCS, I believe, is still on 12.5, not the B patch. It, it, maybe I'm misremembering, right? And, it, and it's just the buff Lucian that we're in there. But my recollection is that these buffs are four days old, it seems like. And yeah, I'm not going Doran's Blade. I'm not going to go refillable just yet. Um, which, of course, is interesting on the other side because it's actually... Okay, well, yeah, it's a pretty good charm into a lot of damage. The shield comes in for Winsome and will not block a lot with it overall. POE on two landing items with the uh, Corrupting Potion and the Dark Seal. Oh, now in for Blabber. Blabber's going to flash down, but can they land the charm? Can they get him away from the Blast Plant? Yes, but they don't actually attack the seed. Finally get rid of it, and there's no way... Oh, yeah, first blood comes through. Thank you, Lee Sin. Uh, looks like he's, he's just going to go Gale Force first, is yeah. my guess. Uh, some players will actually do, you know, things like just Zeal. Almost lost four turret yeah. plates as well without Blabber ever coming top. You know, this is what people talk about when they talk about Summit. You know, he can play almost any matchup. His fudge down, though. He's going to get hit with the Lee Sin Q and the follow-up again. They find it. Xerxes on the board for number two. Rocket means almost nothing. And as Blabber has a shield, he's going to walk away. Charm again, and a winsome has a flash. Burns that one as well. Bot lane is mm -hmm. close. Mid lane is winning right now. PoE and, it's, and uh, Xerxes, well done. My big concern is just how do they utilize this Trinomere? Because Trinomere, you just bring damage, right? You know, if the Trinomere is getting bullied, if the Trinomere can't win in sides, it gets very, very tough here for Revenge. He's again going forward, but doesn't have any rage to start it off, and the ult has to be popped very oh, early. He's so run. early. He's, He's going to get jumped on yet again, trying to heal back up the spin, and Summit kills him. Revenge cracking under pressure. It feels like ult's at 400 health. The kick and a charm was damn <laughs> beautiful. Holy moly, Xerxes and power of evil. Good for three in a row. Man, it's a tale of two lanes, and now the hook over the wall here. He's not going to take that onto the Tom. If that, <laughs> if that Berserker, maybe you go, but you'd still have to pay respect to that TK ulti. I wasn't getting whittled away on, but he's down in gold, and he's looking for these aggressive trades, these all-ins, yeah. when he doesn't even have rage. You're never going to win that Power. fight. I think he is feeling the pressure to say, all right, I have got to stop this, because we are getting bled out of this game. But once out of the tower one more time, but now it's the water quick from Blabber. Does have a flash get away. The flash up for Blabber, and he's back on the board, baby. In spring, he makes it happen. Two to three on the board, 1,500 gold lead, cloud he's nine. He's making it look yep. so easy. Even there, that's the Q juke, right? They basically yep. is, is making him think that that's an ultimate cast. Okay, but they get the root, and they're going to get the charm. They're going to get all the damage they need. Fudge will drop yet again. Xerxes finds his fourth kill. Would love to see one doing it to Ari, but she is getting solo assist every time. But I feel like when you're the hope for your team, you can't just go like CDR boots oh. and, and Zonias and everything. As I think we're going to see Revenge die yep. again here. Someone's just got to stay in range for the flash. Ghosting. Will they get the rest of it? Gets the heel. Sidesteps Boomerang. That is crucial. Would have died with that if that lands. And at least in the bottom side, Ari finds a split push kill on a tower. It does look like... Uh, we're seeing a lot of these. I don't want to call it tank. Oh, that rocket. He's going to tower. Yeah, he's everyone else probably needs to go somewhere else. Is there even a team fight for Immortals here? Chompers go down. The hook comes out, but that's going to be claimed. Nice attempt for the Lee Sin steal. And actually, Revenge gives up the tower. Walks in because they're going to go for the play on a Winston. They root him in place. And actually, it's really Immortals who want this fight. Ulti lands from Aphelios, but is there really a battle? They don't even take the hook in, but now Ari's going to try. Gets a slow. Looks for the charm. That's a Zonia's out of blabber. Can they get the other half? But hook is going to come just a quarter second late. It's a rock about back. It's a dunk in, and blabber is on Aww. for kills number two and three. The dive in is going to mean nothing. Immortals wanted a fight, but untrue to their name, they die right away. This one. Yeah, they are looking really good here. Cloud9 going to find themselves five and a half thousand up. They've got to make sure they mark Xerxes. I think they do have some wards. Here comes the push. Megan are over the wall. Not an ace, but a kill all the same. Five for nothing in that long-term fight. Plus a guaranteed Baron Nasher. Cloud9 about to close this one out as Revenge finds a split push. And it hurts even more because that's a, a four-kill bounty that's actually given away right. to Summit, who's already so far ahead. And now Fudge down to this bot side. He's on Revenge. Gale Force in a spin. Decent damage. I mean, Fudge, he's two hits from dead. Oh, the locket shield into Chomp saves his life, but sadly cannot get the rest of the way through. A good attempt, honestly, oh, Revenge. Flash, ulti, three men snap in there. C9 surges forward. Revenge can do nothing. And Xerxes is pushed out the side there by Summit. Great team fighting from Cloud9, biding their time. They get the Baron off the back of this. They're on soul point. Everything is in their favor. This is going to be a quick closeout. Looking pretty good right now. Cloud9 on the way to get that 10th win, keeping pace with Team Liquid for their clash tomorrow as battle 
for sole control of first place. No team reasonably tanky with the Triforce and Holebreaker health. He's, he's big enough. Winston yeah. takes the front line, and then we go for the first inhibitor turret and the inhibitor to follow. I mean, what can Immortals do, right? They have no explosive engage, really. If, if Xerxes cannot get behind you, there's no shot that you're going to be able to find anything. Destiny can't just walk towards them into the Baron buff, you know, Baron buff minions and try to get a hook. So C9 realize there's no threat on the side of Immortals. Revenge isn't going to do anything. You have eyes on Xerxes. Like, you can't just say, that's okay, I'm down a full item, let's group and I'll slow them. You know, yeah, like, yeah. It's, just, it's just not going to happen. Hook, though, is going to look pretty good. CC'd for a while, kick backwards, he will finally look for the Zonias with the ulti. Block of Shield buys him the time, Blabber has Flash, but Blabber doesn't have a way out. Shutdown is there, and here comes the fallback pattern. He will slow them. Cast the ult, gets Ignite on, and unless you can land the calling, oh, the Ignite still gets him. Oh, it tick. was late enough that the last tick got the kill. Xerxes should have shielded him later, he did it too early when the ulti was still on. Yeah, did he not have his Q to heal up there either? I mean, I'm not sure. I don't know. It seemed, no seemed like something went wrong, but Summit in the meantime, level 16, taking the top tower down. Everyone from Immortals coming. He likes those odds. Flash Flame, oh Destiny is down. Turns out he delivers himself to be killed. And it's going to go for a bit more as the rest of the squad shows up. Winsome's here. Fudge is here. That of Ellie's ulti does nothing. The charm's going to oh! miss. Flash ult's going to land. Good luck, Arrow. Push back. Xerxes gets a bit of time for his team. And that's going to be them staying alive at the very least. Nice try by Summit. Man, how much fun is Summit to yeah. watch? He sees Immortals walking over 1v4. He just takes Ooh, the good. fight. And now the hop over top of the kick flash there. Knocked to safety. They're going to kill him. And yeah, he's dead. Nicely done. Summit's on the board. Unstoppable. 5 0 and 1. Arrow slowed down. Going to try again with POE. Tries to get the damage. Doesn't have <laughs> enough. The defense, the rocket. Ah, it was close. And Tom Ketch sticks the kill. A lantern to safety for something. But sadly, Immortals cannot knock down these kills. 11 to 5. Game's ending soon. Yeah, they're TPing back in here. They have the soul. C9 on the death march here, looking to clean this one up. Absolute domination from Summit in the top lane. I think probably the, the single most dominant game from anyone in the LCS, it feels like this split. He so. was on fire, crushed Revenge, who has been playing very, very well. Brings out the Ignite Nar, looks incredible doing it. Hope for a jungle cannon, you found yourself a top Summit. Top of the board, Cloud9, first place, 10 and 2. They get to fight Team Liquid tomorrow, doesn't mention.